All right, how about the CH3CL problem I gave you? So, of course, it has E because everything has E. It also has C1 because everything has C1. But what else does it have? Well, when I look at this thing, I see that if I stick an axis through the carbon to chlorine bond, I can rotate it three times in a circle and it'll still look the same as what I started with. Because, of course, this bottom is one third of a circle. So I can get a C3 axis of rotation by putting the axis of rotation through the carbon chlorine bond. So C3 I've got in this thing. And that also defines the vertical. So this is the vertical. So are there vertical or horizontal reflection planes? Well, look, there is a horizontal reflection plane. If I reflect through this plane, it'll be identical. If I reflect through this plane, it'll be identical. And if I reflect through this plane, it'll be identical. So just like uh, the example before, it's got three vertical reflection planes. Does it have a horizontal reflection plane? Is there anywhere I can put a plane perpendicular to my axis of rotation and get reflection? No. So it has no horizontal uh, reflection planes. Does it have an inversion center? Tetrahedra often do, but I've sufficiently broken the symmetry of this thing by putting that chlorine on there that I can't get an inversion center. Uh, no matter how I invert this, the chlorine's always going to end up someplace else. So there is no center of inversion. Do I have an improper axis of rotation? Can I rotate this thing and then reflect it perpendicular to the axis of rotation and have it look the same? Hmm. I wonder if I take this and go, noop. So now the green is towards you, and I reflect through this plane, it's gonna look like that. So yeah, this thing does have an improper axis of rotation going down one of the carbon-hydrogen bonds. It'll put the green on the other side, but then I can reflect back through, and the green's back where it started. <clears throat> And since I have three identical hydrogens, I could do that with each one. So it has three C, uh, S3 improper axes of rotation. Those are probably the hardest to spot. So this thing has E, everything has E. It's got C3. It has three uh, sigma Vs, um, no sigma H, no I, but it has three S3s. Did you come up with that?